I am that woman God showed mercy. 23rd of October on NSPPD. Papa declared we will not die. I will not be buried. The next day, which is on Tuesday, that was on a Monday. He now said you will not deliver a cerebral palsy, baby. I hear the Lord say, rebuke cerebral palsy. Uh, rebuke cerebral palsy. Uh, cerebral palsy. Uh, hear the word of the Lord. Disappear right now. I did not understand. I just said amen. You know when you say amen, when you don't even know, the prayer was for you. That same day, I went for my antenatal checkup. I was pregnant for this baby. Seven months and two weeks as at that time. On getting to the hospital, I worked there also in the hospital. The nurse checked my BP and said, Sister, just sit down here. I did not understand. I just, okay, let me sit down. Let me not argue with her. She was busy with the other pregnant women. I sat down. She came back again and checked my BP again. She said, let me tell you the truth. Your BP is too high. You cannot go home today. I said, what do you mean? Let me see the doctor. The doctor came in, checked my BP. My BP was around 1810. The doctor said, Madam, we will not leave you to go home today. I was asked to stay on bed rest. But that was the beginning of the journey. Two weeks down the line. It wasn't coming down. Three pluses protein. They were querying eclampsia. On the second week, they said, on a Thursday, I remembered my consultant came and said, Madam, we are going to separate you and this baby. It's either you leave or the baby leaves. Or will just have to save you so they were not even putting the baby on the picture the most important is to save me so that i can leave we entered the surgery i kept shouting inside of me and i kept saying what god cannot do does not exist on that very day we provided the blood the surgery happened by two o'clock they took me to the theater that was the last i remembered two days i was not awake the, until the second day, that was the day I woke up. The BP was still, they were still trying to resuscitate me. And when I was in that realm, I don't even know where I was. All I could hear was Pastor Jerry's voice. Go back, wow. go back, wow. go back. Wow. That was all I could hear. And that was it till I woke up. Five days after, I didn't see this baby. I didn't even know how he was feeding. He was in the incubator because, of course, he was free time. That was the beginning of the testimony. This is just mine, how God saved me. Then we come to the baby. On getting there, I realized the whole lot was wrong. They kept saying they would change the blood of this baby. They did EBT. The doctors here will understand what I mean. They did exchange blood transfusion. They were querying jaundice. They were querying a lot of sepsis. His temperature was out of this world. Only for him to be transfused that day after the EBT. 12 hours later, they did um, post-EBC um, blood work. They noticed that this baby's platelet was 10%. The normal is between 100 and above. This baby was on 10. And the implication medically is that he could bleed into his brain. Huh. In fact, on that very day, my husband went to see him in the incubator. And he noticed that this baby was already bleeding from the skin. Mm. They asked us to buy platelets. We bought. People here, the medical uh, workers here, understand what platelets is. Each of them, we buy at 256,000. And they kept transfusing this boy every single day. Every day for two weeks. I say, God, show me mercy. God, show me mercy. On that fateful day, November 23rd, on NSPPD, Pastor Jerry said there is a woman here. Your baby is in the incubator. I don't know who you are, but for you to know that God is here, one hour, you will hear good news. There is a mother of a newborn. I'm not sure the baby is up to five days. Let go to here. They put the baby in an incubator. You have your phone right in front of you. They took your baby and put it in the incubator. And they are saying they don't like the way the baby is doing. I'm a shot. Uh, and they say uh, the baby's not doing well at all. Uh, and you have been crying. Uh, the 
Lord saw your tears. The Lord saw your tears. If there is fire on this altar, if you will not give back your testimony in another one hour, what looks like a hopeless situation, what looks like there's no way out, what looks like the end of the road, and the sound of your amen, I decree it is reversed right now. I've been crying inside that incubator. I could not touch this baby since I gave birth to him. They refused me carrying this baby. On that very Monday, 23rd of November, Pastor Jerry made that statement. Immediately, I had peace. I said, okay, let me wait. I finished the prayer. I went downstairs. Meanwhile, for this case, they invited the hematologist because they were querying cancer. They were querying a whole lot of things. But I told God nothing will happen to this baby. Not on my watch. I went down. I opened the door. The doctors, the hematologist saw me and said, Mom Yosuji, congratulations. I shook. I said, for what? He now said, your baby's platelet is 82,000. I said, doctor, 82,000. I said, okay, what God cannot do does not exist. Because what I do is every morning after prayers, I'll come down and pray for him. Because they won't allow me to play the, you know, the video there. If you had seen this baby before then, there was no hope. There was no... I mean, this baby was weighing 1.2 kg. One, at some point, he got to 0 0.9. What can you do with a baby like that? But God showed me mercy. From that day, he started changing. If I come, I will see my baby. He is changing. He started, a lot started happening that same week the doctor called me that you're going home you're carrying your baby home that there's nothing wrong with this baby in fact he started terrorizing them because inside the incubator he will use his two legs and open the door i said people should give me my baby let me go home he doesn't want to stay here again and that was how we were discharged i've come because one of those days i told god if you save me and save this child the first day I stepped my foot into this church, I will bring him to say thank you, Jesus. Because he can only be God. No man could do it. One of the doctors, God bless you, Dr. No, wherever you are. She's also a colleague of mine because I'm also a medical practitioner. She told me, Sophia, this is nothing but, it's only God that can do it. It's only miracle that can save this baby. No man can do it. And to God be the glory. From that day to today, this boy has not been to the hospital. Nothing is wrong with him. They went and did all the tests again before they allowed us to go. The blood they saw in his brain, they didn't see again. There was no bleeding in the brain. There was no infection again. There was nothing. In fact, nothing is wrong with this baby. I've come to return all the glory back to God. For saving me and my baby. For making me alive in the land of the living. Yeah. To God alone be all the 